Welcome back. It's time for us to take a quick look at what's happening on the covers of the dailies this morning. Uh, I'm going to be doing this with Mike Messi Keno. And we have the nation this morning. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. Headline here says federal government unfolds forex tax jobs investment policies. 260 taxes to be slashed to single digit. Merging of BDCs, Forex apps, dealers into official Forex market. Now, some of the uh, key points are right there listed on the cover of the nation there on Forex tax jobs and palliatives and uh, some interesting quotes as the story starts there on the cover and wraps up on page four. Oil thieves deploy CCTV mortar launchers along pipeline <coughs> routes. Uh, NMPCL... Uh, Security uh, say we won't relent in battle against criminals. Akiri Dodo receives Sonolu Makinde Abiodun Oyebanji and uh, Aye Datiwa uh, rights uh, chief judge. Story starts there on the cover and wraps up on page five. Let's see what else we have here. Top left, U.S. court rejects request for FBI's report on Tinubu uh, land racketeering rocks FCTA. Uh, EFCC chair orders staff members to declare assets and Senate defends 160 million Naira SUVs for National Assembly members. Mm. Uh, there, there, uh, a, a lot of people have spoken about that. Yeah. Uh, I, I saw, um, I, I can't remember the name of uh, the, the senator now who came out to defend it and said that uh, ministers have four cars and uh, the roads are bad. And that is why they're insisting that they have to have a particular brand and a particular type of car. And it doesn't make for a good read. It doesn't make for a good... It, it, it doesn't look good. It just doesn't. It's, it, it, it would seem as though the citizenry is the one that is expected to tighten their, 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 the post strings and, you know, and bear the brunt of the inflation and whatever is happening with the economy. We need to see our leaders across all strata show that this is get and you know the cost of governance is something mm. look at that amount on vehicles three four for one person in this particular kind of scenario and you these are not these are cars that you are going to source for with foreign currency i was actually they're, they're going to say that they are not they, they, it is not mm. something they are going to source for with local currency. it is not even look you're not you're not patronizing locally made Good. I was actually, that, Which we, it's as if you're in my uh, head right now. It doesn't look if, good. I would say mm. this in no way. It doesn't look good. You listen to stuff like this across all strata. And this is not just, it's not just about one person. It's about all of them. We need to understand that. Look, you need to understand the pulse of the people at the moment. And it should show. You cannot be making an excuse and say ministers are using four and they're using three and then the roads are bad. It's too flippant and I don't, it, it just... It is not a good look. We have so many other headlines to get through. If we start on that conversation now, Mike, we might not uh, wrap it up in time. Let's go to the Daily Trust newspaper. It says here, war on Gaza. A UN Secretary General accuses Israel of violating international humanitarian law. Says we must oppose anti-Semitism, anti-Muslim bigotry, an Israeli ambassador calls for Guterres' resignation. Uh, Israeli police shut down uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque. And, of course, there is a photo story, a very troubling photo story there on the cover um, of the Gaza Strip. A Palestinian man um, mourning as civil defense teams and residents search for people trapped in the debris after an Israeli airstrike. Now, there is... Uh, just beneath the masthead there are the headlines. Uh, Kogi Bayelsa Imo governorship polls. INEC chair raises alarm over violence. MTN ordered to pay 57.5 billion naira tax default to federal government. Elder statesman Adamu Fika uh, dies at 90. And at the bottom there, how banditry forced Zamfara residents out of their homes. Uh, any story you would like to touch on there, Mike? Oh, uh, definitely. If we take a look at, I mean, it's 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 the war, uh, the, uh, the war and Gaza. the humanitarian crisis, as it were. Mm. You know, I I tell somebody that no matter what side you might want to think you support in this particular scenario, 
civilians, women and children babies. should not babies, yeah. should not be collateral damage, it should not be made to bear the brunt of this. And especially when you hear a hospital was hit, a hospital that had a majority of children who were there. So the humanitarian crisis is what, uh, and then someone spoke about how uh, the U.S. might be fighting from both sides because they are trying to offer humanitarian aid to some Palestinians in, in, in the strip and all of that. Look, my point is we should do all we can, ask the international community to ensure that civilian lives are safe. Yes, Hamas and all of that, people, you know, people have to defend the integrity of their, of the, of their state, as it were but it should not cost civilian lives. Mm -hmm. That is where the thing, that is, that is the problem, the humanitarian efforts. And it, it, it's hard, but yeah. that is where the concern should be. It also feels, it also does feel like uh, many of the, you know, you know, it does, the onus lies on the press at this mm -hmm. point to actually share the right information because it has been sort of one-sided with some of the international press you know, having access, more access to one side than the than other, the other yeah, uh, in terms of information. And a definitely. lot of people not yeah, actually definitely. seeing the truth. But I think for the first time, social media, uh, well, not for the first time, but social media is putting out the right information uh, so that right. people see the truth. Okay, so let's head on to the Nigerian Tribune. Yeah. And uh, we see that um, annoying headline once again. Senate justifies purchase of 160 million naira for SUVs. Says Nigerians should examine lifestyle of ministers probes 11.35 trillion spent on refineries maintenance since 2010. Refineries that have not refined a single drop of oil in all that time. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. Every plan unveils plan to reduce collectible taxes uh, up above the flag of the paper there. You can see U.S. court denies urgent request for release of Tinubu's dossier. A court sentences Lagos Dr. Olaile to life imprisonment for raping wife's niece. Clark to Tinubu. Amend, amend NDDC acts to exclude Imo Abia Undo, Undo as non Niger Delta states. Uh, Odua investment moves to revolutionize uh, digital education in Southwest, launches defined projects, and then reps invite CBN government over lifting of FX ban on 43 items. Nigeria to vaccinate 7.7 million girls against leading cause of cervical cancer. I, I saw that uh, mm. story over the past yeah. few days and yeah. I was quite yeah. uh, pleased yeah. in, in, with that particular scenario that now we have vaccines mm. for cervical cancer. There, uh, there has always been a, a vaccine actually for it. Okay. It's just uh, how it's, accessible it, how ac it was. Exactly. Accessibility how accessible, to, yes. to those vaccines and uh, it, was, it was a pleasing, something pleasing to read. Uh, the punch here says uh, Tinubu Pano asked government to drop 190 taxes. OPS blames states. Uh, we have here Senate probes 11 trillion refinery repairs someone's carry. I don't know what there is to prove there. EFCC chair orders staff to declare assets mm. and reps for CBN's forex ban lift and NECA kicks. Uh, just uh, below the flag there of, uh, at the bottom of the paper, DSS NAP suspected terrorist wives recovers 150 AK-47 rifles. <laughs> Lagos cancer, Dr. Olalaye bags life in jail for rape. And uh, slain Nigerian student, Philippines police file murder cases against suspects. Uh, all of that on the front page of yeah. the. Um, I was going to touch on uh, Dr. Olalaye yeah, uh, getting uh, the yeah. life sentence there. Now, for any woman who has been examined by a doctor, um, they know how vulnerable they are in front of doctors. Mm. Um, and how much trust we put in doctors, especially a doctor who was known for um, breast cancer, um, you know, um, uh, events and outreaches and so many different things. Um, now, this is justice for any young girl who has been through any struggle of any sort when it comes to um, rape, abuse, sexual abuse, that, yes, they have been heard someone has actually been prosecuted and um, has gone down for it and mm. he's going to jail for life now, according to uh, the courts. Um, now, there's still a lot more information about that story that will be coming out in our news bulletins. You know, but, you know um, yes, you know, you know um, considering that a number of people fought for it and in you, from the news report that we uh, took earlier, mm. some people didn't believe that due to the standing and the reputation of yeah. this person who has been a servant in court yeah. to society and even the government, 
and uh, the general populace uh, understanding that it was going to be hard to get justice, but justice was gotten. And, you know, uh, this is uh, so to the women out there who have experienced this, who are who are stigmatized and might not want to come out. This is a victory on that front that, mm. yes, in this kind of issues, you can come out, you should mention. But at the same time, mm. I would also want a deterrent to those who accuse falsely. Because that is also another part of it, you know, that people don't talk so much about. But now, mm. we're saying that you can come out and then when, uh, you know, it's not, it's not, I mean, it's kind, it's kind of hard to get a conviction in, in cases like this because sure. evidence can be hard, you know, to get. To yes. get. But in this case, we're happy that it happened and all of that like that. So, hey, you know. A lot of people are giving their, you know, comments and contributions on that and would love to hear your thoughts on it as well. Uh, please make sure you uh, share your thoughts on this particular story, uh, especially uh, use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We would love to hear your thoughts. Mm. At this point, we're going to be wrapping up on the headlines in the dailies for this morning. There's still so much more coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria. <laughs>